you ever met people who say that they can do things and then you find that they can't really? This is a Brothers Grimm story, The Tailor and the Giant. And this is about a person who's just like that. This is about a tailor who liked to say that he could do all sorts of things that he couldn't really do. And one day he decided he'd had enough of being a tailor. What the endless sewing was hard on his fingers. The endless cutting of the cloth was very hard on his hands. And he decided to go off into the forest in search of, in search of something, in search of adventure. So he went off into the forest. And there, amongst the trees, was a mountain. And behind the mountain was what the tailor thought was a very tall tower. And then he realised that the tower had a head and a face and a nose and eyes and a mouth. And the tower simply stepped over the mountain because it was really a very tall giant. And the giant spoke to the tailor and said, why are you here in the forest? You're nothing but a little shrimp thing. You won't survive long out here in the wild. And the tailor said, I've come in search of adventures. I want to see what happens in the forest. The giant says, well, you can stay here if you agree to be my servant. So the tailor said, well, what will you pay me? Giant says, I will pay you 365 days each year and an extra day each leap year. And the tailor, who was really quite frightened of the giant, could only say yes. And the giant says, for your first task, you can go and get me a bucket of water. The tailor said, well, instead of a bucket, why don't I bring you the whole spring? And the giant started looking a little worried because he thought, this, this isn't a, a, a mere man as I thought. This is obviously a sorcerer. And then the giant said, Go hunting and fetch me three wild boar for my supper. And the tailor said, Only three? I can catch you a hundred wild boar. And the giant looked at him and thought, This must be a very powerful sorcerer indeed. Go find me some firewood, cut down a tree. A tree? I can cut down more than one tree. I can cut down half the forest. So the giant was really quite alarmed by now. He said to the tailor, come with me to where the willow trees grow. There, in the swamp, were willow trees, and of course willow bends very easily. And the giant said, I really wish to see if we can bend this willow. So the giant bent a willow tree over. And the tailor climbed up onto the end of the willow tree to hold it down. And he drew in a great deep breath to try and make himself way more to hold the tree down but then he had to breathe out and so as he breathed out or perhaps really the giant let go of the top of the tree and the bendy willow unfurled and shot the tailor off into mid-air so perhaps 
if he hasn't yet come down to land, <laughs> the tailor is still flying somewhere over the forest. <laughs> the world is full of people who were prepared to believe enormous lies, but the world is also full of people whose lies <laughs> catch them out in the end. That's a Brothers Grimm story. There are lots of other Brothers Grimm stories. Um, they're not all grim. Some of them are a lot of fun. So if you'd like to hear more stories, please do subscribe to my channel. And I do hope to see you again soon. Take care.